All right, student. Uh, today is the first day of our little workshop on Maya. We're going to spend uh, today exploring the interface and trying to understand how Maya works um, in terms of what I call the, the node architecture, which is quite important to understand. And then um, after that, we'll model together a, a, a character, a poly polygonal character, that we will uh, next uh, Thursday rig and eventually animate. Hopefully we'll have time for everything. All right, let's look at Maya. Hard to not fall in love with Maya, I always say. It's a beautiful, beautiful software with an amazing interface. When you launch Maya, that's what you see is the perspective view. And I'm going to just kind of briefly go over all the various components of the interface and give you a, a bunch of the shortcuts I use constantly um, so that you, at least the, the ones I really want you to remember. So Maya here has the tools, like many, many software. And these tools, the shortcut for the tools are, um, this is a selection tool. The short, uh, shortcut is Q, uh, move tool. W, as you can see up here, the uh, rotate tool is E, and the um, scale tool is R. You will see that later on down here, actually you already see here, this is the last used tool, um, is actually the Y uh, to relaunch the last used tool, and is is here. Right here you don't see yet, but there's something called manipulator tool that can show up as well, and the shortcut for that is T, and I will explain what the manipulator tool is as soon as we um, bring it up. Down here you see all the various views in Maya, so if you want more than just the perspective view, you can click on here or tap the space bar, by the way, either one works. Uh, if you tap the space bar on the with the mouse on the perspective view, it will go there. If you tap the space bar on any of the other views, like this is the side view, it will bring you inside the side view. But let's say you actually want the perspective view and something called the outliner that shows you all the various parts of your model. And you can click down here and there we are. Now we have the outliner is called and we'll talk about it as well as the hypergraph, the hypershade and a few more like channel box, attribute editor. We'll talk about all these in a minute. But as you can see, the outliner shows you what's in your scene. And right now there isn't anything. In fact, if I want to input something so I can show you how it gets actually um, it reflects in the outliner. I'm going to go under the polygon tabs. These are all tabs to show you everything you can do in Maya. So whenever it's time to animate, we'll use, you know, the join tools and many other, the uh, constraints, the, if you want to render, you have rendering tools here, uh, dynamics and et cetera, et cetera. But let's go under polygon and input even just a simple cube. And you can see here now that we have cube P cube one, polygon cube one. If I hit W, that is the move tool, as I explained earlier, you can bring it up, you know, or down, or you know, do whatever you need in terms of moving it. Remember, if you move along the arrows, like this yellow arrow is the, as you can see, the the Y is moving up and down. If I move it in the X, it's moving in this direction. If I move it in the Z, it's moving in this direction. So you could use these arrows to move your object, or you could go from the very center and move it. Now I know my cube is particularly skinny at the moment, probably because the last time I modeled something that was a poly cube, I needed it to be that size. Now how does that, how do I change the size of this object? This is called the channel box. And if you go down the channel box, as you can see, the top part of the channel box show you the X, Y, and Z uh, translation, what I was just showing you, the moving. So if I go and, for example, move it on the X axis, you can see the translate X changed. Um, down here, you have the rotate and then the scale. And then the more you go down, you'll see that you have other nodes. If you go into and I'm saying nodes, I'll tell you in a minute this idea of the node architecture and why it's so important. Maya record everything you do as nodes. And, and as I said, I'll prove it to you in a minute. If you go under in Polycube 1, you see that down here you have the various subdivisions. So you might say, hey, I want to subdivide it. You can also change the height. You can say, hey, look, I want it to be a real cube and have a height of 2, width of 2, depth of 2, and the subdivision I want 3, 
3 and 3, for example. And as you can see, is indeed increasing to the subdivision. I'm using my middle mouse button that when I scroll in and out, it will allow me to zoom in and out. If I actually hold Command or Control and, and do the same thing with the middle mouse button, I hold it down, this time allows me to pan sideways. If I actually use the left mouse button with that command or control, it allows me to dolly around. There we are. So one way to modify this cube is through the channel. You know, no problem. Another way to modify is through the attribute editor. Up here, this is the attribute editor. Up here you have hide or show the channels, as you can see, or hide and show the attribute editor right it, 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 right here. So like we did earlier, we went into that polycube one and changed the width, the height, and the depth. I can do it right here again in the attribute editor as well. So you always have kind of multiple ways to solve a problem in Maya that I think is what makes Maya so incredibly strong. So that's another way to do it. Another way to do it is actually, let's delete everything, and instead of doing the cube through the shelf, I could go under Create Polygon Primitive Cube and go into this little thing, it's called the Option Box. When you go in the Option Box, there it is, all your options are laid out. So you can see that you can change the width, the height, and the depth. I can go with the divisions, I can change anything I want, pretty much. And there we are, I got my cube again.